I'm just gonna take off some of the stuff that you got equipped. Can you put your arm out real quick? Okay. Thanks. However you decide to spend your hard earned money on a video game, especially in 2024, when these prices and these battle passes and these live services are charging us out the ass. Pause, no did it. Because with the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC on the horizon, a lot of people have been firing back up, dusting off that moon veil sword, re-greasing that blood flame blade, rehydrating those rivers of blood blades, getting ready for that DLC to drop. I've personally been watching the young King Kasa not do his first time playthrough, which he's technically still streaming now. And it's been a sight to see because a lot of us, including myself, was exactly the same way. What you gonna do this to me? What you gonna take this shit away from me? Things gotta go through you, nigga. You gotta get through me now. But of course, as we walk through the minefield that's called social media, AKA Twitter or X, you're gonna see so many toxic opinions this way in or that way. You have some of the from software gatekeepers that's saying he's doing it the right way by not using any summons and not getting the OP weapon. You got the other people on the other side saying he's wasting time. This is boring to watch. He's died like 500 times. This is pointless. Just use this, just use that. And I'm right there standing in the middle saying, fuck all that. You bought your game with your own money you should be able to play it exactly how you want or clowning kai and like really blowing it up that he's died like hundreds of times on the tree sentinel people talking about how embarrassing that is and all this other shit see here's the thing what's embarrassing is to actually quit the game and not beat the game that's the embarrassing part giving up is the embarrassing part he didn't give up that entire time also i'd argue that without that fight he wouldn't be even half the player that he currently is and not feel obligated to play it how someone else wants you to play it especially if you're a youtuber or a twitch streamer or a content creator creator like myself you're gonna have a lot of backseat gamers a lot of people that's passionate giving you tips tricks and tips and you're gonna have a lot of passionate people especially if you're brand new to the souls genre like i was less than like six months ago because a lot of you that's watching this video know that i hated elden ring off rip in 2022 when this game dropped i was a serial hater of elden ring i've actually like unlisted videos i've made on this channel that was me talking shit about elden ring all you demon soul mother is that oh my god this is the best game in the world you're fucking drunk the best game in the world right now is easily horizon forbidden west I said that horizon forbidden west was the better game because it had better graphics again i was super casual little did i know but of course i played a game called armor core 6 for the first time my first mech game and even when i did that and i was using a tank build because that's the one that i enjoyed the most i had people saying that i was using the op build i needed to use something else that wasn't the tank because the tanks are broken but once i switched over to elden ring it was even worse now i have video footage of me banging my head against the wall trying to beat the tree sentinel i chose a war i'm a mother you didn't mean to i've been waiting abandon. three years to do this not to go level up crazy i chose not to use the summons i chose not to even use dogs i wanted to beat that mother 1v1 no matter what and i literally died probably 500 to a thousand times over the course of weeks let alone the multiple four or five times that i deleted and reinstalled the game just to go and retry again and again and again and once i finally beat the tree sentinel that is when I understood what Elden Ring was as a new player, as a new Souls player. I understood so much more than I did when I first played the game. I realized I didn't want to do that shit for the rest of the game. So what did I do? I went research the best OP builds, how to level up my weapon, areas to farm. I want to get as OP as absolutely possible. I can be a wrecking machine and clean up motherfuckers. There's nothing more satisfying to me than getting overpowered in a game, especially a Souls-like game, and smacking everybody bro i love it i give back what they give to me that is what i enjoy that's if i've already had some pain in the game because some of the true from software souls like ogs or like the super psychopaths that don't believe you've earned respect in gaming or respect as a souls player unless you go in that bitch naked with your fist no ashes of war no summons not leveled up level 15 and fight with one hand behind your back with your eyes closed which i saw a skit about that which is pretty hilarious and i just think that's way too extreme but again if that's how you want to play i totally understand 
understandable. You shouldn't be ridiculed or made fun of if you go the opposite route of using summons and using human summons. Because I had my line, I would use my NPC summons like my wolves or my mimic tier down the line. I didn't want to use a human. I didn't want to summon a human help. But that's just me and my opinion. I'm not going to ridicule you for using one. So everyone has that line. Everyone has their that code of conduct, I would say. And whatever that is for you, now going into the DLC, you're going to see all of this shit again of people saying, oh, you're too overpowered for the DLC. You're ruining the game for yourself. So what I did for myself, my current level on Elden Ring is 205. I'm on New Game 3. Everything maxed out, Blood Fang game. You know what I'm saying? And I plan on going in absolutely wrecking whatever I can wreck because I know the game is still going to be fucking difficult but because I'm a YouTuber I got to realize that some people are not going to like that and I understand that so on my PC I started a brand new character from scratch I haven't been using summons I did a mage build and it's absolutely fucking awful I personally hate people that use magic I think magic cheapens the game you ride around on your horse you fucking flailing you I'm doing it on PC now just to kind of get a feel for it and I absolutely hate it but once again if that's how you want to play the game that you bought then play the game like like that because everyone is apparently a from software's pro that was in the room with Miyazaki and helped him make the game because we're only going to use what the fucking game is going to give us if Miyazaki and the team at from software wants to give me a mimic tear and help me get this weapon and use this grease and use this buff I'm looking like Brock Lesnar when I walk into a boss fight I'm fucking drinking this I'm popping this I'm greasing this I'm fucking looking I'm looking through all this I'm using every tool any means necessary how I need to get this W I'm going to get this W because this game is designed to piss you off and to punish you so whenever i can return the favor you need to return that favor but if you want to do like kai does and not use a summon and go in and fight a mother for seven hours that's fine too i missed the initial elden ring wave back in 2022 with it dropped i've been watching old videos old playthroughs old bills old everything so now to be on the ground floor of an elden ring game i'm so excited i can't even express to you the amount of elden ring content that i have planned within these next two or three weeks that's coming up i'm so excited and don't let anyone sour this experience for you play the game how you want to play the game because if you're looking at the schedule we ain't getting these often gaming is looking real mid this year so enjoy it man while you can i already missed 2023 i ain't gonna lie to you that indie games this year has been holding this fucking gaming scene on its back right now with the way things has been going lately you know who knows bro rise yet tarnish and don't you dare go hollow